learning kids company and friends and this week we're learning all about Asia so today we are going to talk about the animals in Asia so first let me take my mask off so you can hear me a bit better there we go and remember before working with any equipment or cards we have to spritz and sanitize our hands so let's spritz here we go, between the fingers, all done. Good job. Okay, so the first animal that we are going to talk about is the giant panda. The giant panda is a large bear with black and white fur. It is an endangered species. It lives alone in forests on the mountains of China. A giant panda's home is called a den. Its fur is very thick to keep it warm in the cold forests. Giant pandas are herbivores. They eat a plant called bamboo. A baby panda is called a cub. The second animal that we'll be learning about is called the Bengal tiger. The Bengal tiger is a large cat with orange fur and black stripes. It lives alone in forests. The only time when tigers live together is when a female is raising a cub. They are carnivores. They like to hunt deer and other buck. A baby tiger is also called a cub. called tanuki. Another name for the tanuki is the Japanese raccoon dog. It is an omnivore. It likes to eat different plants and seeds but it also eats toads, fish, water birds, insects and rodents. Tanukis are the only one of its kind that is known to hibernate in winter. A baby tanuki is called a pup. red panda. They are very cute animals. The red panda is a small mammal with reddish brown fur, short legs and a long bushy tail. Its tail has light yellow rings around it. The red panda likes to live on its own in forests and it eats bamboo, eggs, birds and insects and small mammals. It is an omnivore. The female red panda will make a nest for her babies in a hollow tree or rock crevice. A baby red panda is called a cub. The next animal is called a red fox. The red fox has red fur covering its body and tail and white fur on its chin, neck and chest. They, live, they like to live in thick bush and they make their dens by digging long tunnels under the ground. The red fox is an omnivore and eats lots of different food. It mainly likes to eat rats, birds and different fruit. The red fox lives in family groups and a baby red fox is called a kit. The next animal is a Siberian flying squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel lives in forests and makes its nest in old woodpecker holes. It puts soft material inside the hole so that it can burrow inside for warmth. It is a very shy animal and is mainly active at night so it's not often seen. It is well known for the flaps of, a sk of skin between its front and back legs that extends when it jumps from tree to tree. This allows the squirrel to glide or fly. The Siberian flying squirrel is a herbivore. It eats leaves, seeds, cones, buds, sprouts, nuts, and berries. Sometimes it will eat bird eggs. The next animal is a golden langur. The golden langur comes from the primate family and is an endangered species. It has golden hair, a black face and a long tail. 
It uses its tail to balance on the tall trees. A group of golden langurs is called a troop. They are herbivores. They like to eat fruit, leaves, berries, buds, seeds and flowers. A baby golden langur is called an infant. The last animal that we'll be looking at is the green magpie, a beautiful colourful bird. The green magpie belongs to the crow family. It has brightly coloured feathers and a red ring around its eye. It lives in evergreen forests and makes its nest in trees and shrubs. It lays between four and six eggs in its nest. The green magpie is an omnivore. It eats insects, small reptiles, baby birds and eggs. It will also eat meat from a dead animal. A baby green magpie is called a chick. Enjoy my next video all about the Asian food. See you next time. Bye!